Today I'm going to talk a little bit about matching your specker line to your fluorocarbon leader and then sizing it to the bait that you want to fish and the rod and reel you're using to fish that bait when inshore fishing. While this, I'm talking about Southern California, calico bass, sand bass, spotted bay bass, this really applies anywhere you're fishing, uh, throwing small lures for bass, freshwater bass, saltwater game fish in other places. Um, having the right weight of line makes it a lot easier to present a lure. For example, this 50 pound Seaguar Threadlock here is about the equivalent of less than 20 pound mono, but that doesn't mean you need to fish 50 pound on everything you're throwing. And you know, you can even go to the, the 60 pound uh, Threadlock, which is also very thin, but heavier. And what you have to do is you have to look at your, uh, the lures you're going to be throwing. So this uh, Yozuri uh, Crystal Minnow here versus this Yozuri uh, Hydro Minnow are two very differently sized baits. Probably going to be thrown on two different sized rods and reels. For example, I would throw the lighter one on this uh, 200 size bait caster and a, a light, medium, well, it's a medium heavy graphite rod, whereas the larger one I would throw on this uh, 300 size reel or 400 size reel actually with heavier rod and everything else. So, why not have the matching line and leader to do that? So, while both of those outfits will cast with 50 pound line, not both of those outfits would cast this lure as well. And also, on the other side, the lighter rod would not be well suited to throw this lure. So what you're doing is you're sizing your spectra to maximize the rod and reel you're fishing and the lure by association. On this lighter rod here, I have 30 pound spectra matched with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I think this is actually 25. And on the heavier rod, I have 50 pound uh, thread lock matched with 40 pound leader. And the reason I have this mismatch of specter weight to leader weight is I'm fishing in areas where I could potentially snag the bottom. And if you're going to snag the bottom, you want to use a lighter leader than specter because if, you, if something's going to break, you want it to be the leader and not your specter halfway up your spool or something like that. So when you switch to offshore stuff, like this... Uh, that's where I use the thrill lures for tuna and yellowtail. I'm fishing an uh, 80 pound thread lock, but I'm fishing a 100 pound fluorocarbon leader. And the reason for that is it has more abrasion resistance, but this is also not going to be touching anything where I can snag my lure on the bottom and maybe break the spectra. Um, so once you match up the rod and reel to the size spectra and to the leader you're using, you're going to be more efficiently able to cast these baits out and also. Um, not lose a lot of line if you snag the bottom. But regarding spectra sizes, you know, there's everybody uses everything from, you know, I, I know guys that fish inshore with 80 pound spectra. I used to throw a lot of 60 pound when I would fish this uh, this larger Revo Toro because it has a big spool and you can put a lot of 60 pound on there. And when you're throwing a bait this size, the difference between 50 pound spectra and 60 pound spectra is negligible. But if I take the next size reel down and fill that with 60 pound spectra, I'm going to lose line capacity, which means more lines going to be coming off. My spools going to get smaller during my cast, and that means I'm going to have to wind faster. So you want to use whatever spectra you can to keep your reel pretty full during a cast. You don't want to cast off half a spool line, or your retriever, your lure will be at different speed when you start winding by the time you get back to the boat with it. Um, the, uh, the last part of this is what weight to use. So for smaller 200 size reels, I'll use the 30 pound spectra. I won't go lighter than 30 pound spectra unless I'm throwing a spinning rod because 20 pound spectra in the ocean, it just, it gets difficult to manage. And I tend to have more trouble fishing it than I, than the advantage I would get from it just because it's so thin. And just because you're fishing 30 pound doesn't mean you have to fish a heavy leader. If I'm fishing spotted bay bass and I want to fish some 10 pound fluorocarbon, I could tie that onto that 30 pound spectra or I could tie 15 or 20 or even 25 if I'm fishing a swim bait. And you could do the same with 50 pound. You know, you can go down to 10 pound, but you probably won't because it seems kind of silly to have that big of a difference. So with 50 pound, I'll fish, you know, normally 30 or 40 pound fluorocarbon. If I'm going to 60 pound, I'll fish 40 or 50 pound. Um, if I'm throwing 80, like on this, I'm throwing this heavy weedless rod or something, then I can go to a 60 pound fluorocarbon. Um, Matching that and finding the right balance is the key to fishing more effectively. So if you, all your reels are full of one weight of uh, spectra and all your leaders the same weight, you should probably look into changing up 
sizing your weight of your spectra and your leader to the size of the lure and the size of the rod you're throwing. 